For all of you who've been asking about the EasyCast, here's an explanation of what goes on in the background. I think you need to understand the principles behind it in order to do it properly. So, let's get to it. To see why the EasyCast works so well, let's compare it with the old overhead method that begins with the rod tip held high and the sinker hanging on a short drop. The arms do all the work and the body does nothing. It's a dreadful way, but most fishermen still use it. The rod never bends properly and what little power develops comes right at the end. So the tendency is to thrash as hard as possible. And the harder you try, the worse it gets. That wasted energy has to go somewhere though, and that's why the reel backlashes. The easy cast begins with the sinker on the beach under the rod. This maximises the casting arc and it guarantees that the rod starts bending early, which is exactly what you want. By turning away from the sea to lay the sinker on the beach, your body winds up like a coiled spring. Low rod tip and high left elbow ensure that the cast accelerates on a long, smooth path. As the action begins, the spring unwinds powerfully. All that energy goes into the rod, which immediately bends against the sinker's resistance. The sinker lifts from the beach and follows the rod tip at exactly the right angle. Be slow and steady. Cast at about half your normal speed. Modest body rotation, 150 grams of lead and a leader drop of about half the rod length are a good starting point. With experience you can fine-tune the system for even better performance. Your arms automatically move into the correct position to push and pull. The rod's nicely loaded, the sinker's on the right path and it's moving quickly. Flick the rod over smoothly and firmly. Take your time. Pull a little harder with the left hand than you push with the right. Line release takes care of itself. Doesn't matter whether you use a fixed spool reel or a multiplier, just let it happen. It really is that simple, so don't try and complicate the issue. Just keep practicing, get used to the rhythm of it, and you'll do fine. It should be good for about 120 metres with no particular effort, but if you work hard and use a stiffer rod, 200 metres is on the card, so get practicing. OK, well that's all for me for now. If you have any questions about casting, feel welcome to post them to me, and I hope to see you later. Thanks for watching.